So we want to take a closer look at the former president's security detail, what went right after those shots were fired, and of course, what went wrong. That's why we're having an expert who has provided security at these types of political events to break down what happened. Trooper Steve here. I know I'm handling most of the time your traffic and all things safety, but a lot of my time spent with the Florida Highway Patrol was embedded with federal agencies providing dignitary protection. I've done it for President Trump, President Biden, President Obama, amongst many others. And I wanted to break this video down. Look what happened to our country. President Trump starts off by being President Trump. You can see here he's talking to the crowd and he reacts to something almost immediately. Watch for it. He flinches, realizes something's wrong, and he takes the steps that he's been taught and he drops right to the ground. Within seconds here, you can see. Now you don't see it here. You see him on the sides running up. There are three agents physically already on top of President Trump. More agents are gonna come here. This is the body team. This is a different team that is specifically assigned to the president. The president probably knows these men and women's name, uh, first name, guaranteed. So what's happening? A lot of people are like, my gosh, they have left former President Trump there on the podium for so long. It's really not the case. He's been shot. They've noticed it. What are they doing? They are making sure that he's okay. There's a physical assessment going place top to bottom. This is the CAT team that comes in, these tactical Secret Service agents. This is just another layer of the onion to make sure that this scene right here is gonna be okay. Now, I am a little concerned at some audio that I've heard. You're ready, on you. Ready, move, up, go, move, go. go. And no one moves. Then you hear a lot of yelling taking place. And finally, the president gets up on his feet here as the camera zooms in, you can see them regain. What are they doing though, all right? They are making some themselves bigger, right? Here, watch this. This agent right here, hands are up. They put it in front of President Trump's face, making sure that he's a small target. They wanna provide cover, not concealment. Look as they're making their way to the cars, the cars are ready, the doors are open. This is where I also have a little concern because I like things orderly and I know the United States Secret Service working with them, very clear. Watch these two agents here. Very shoveled, disconfused, very confused here. Holster, the gun was not hol uh, unholstered and then she unholsters. Then she's trying to put the gun back in, can't, and then is back out. Same thing with this, this agent here. Just a lot of confusion, it seems like, outside of the actual body team. This type of stuff is extremely methodical. There is no second guessing. So at the end of the day, everyone here has a mission, but it's pretty clear there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Yeah, and an investigation will be taking place, it is taking place right now to really figure out how a shooter was able to get on the roof only about 130 yards away from that podium. Uh, you would almost think that that could never happen these days, but somehow, it did. Yeah, but uh, applaud to the Secret Service agents because not all of us sign up to put our lives on the line for a person we're protecting. Most of us would just run and duck for cover ourselves, and they just knew the right thing yeah. to do was to make sure the person they're protecting is safe. I know. I was so watching that, that with my kids. And yeah. Can you imagine that being your job to use your body as, as a, a shield, shield for another human being? As a shield, being? yeah.